Yeah, so let me just let you guys uh, uh, know basically what happened. So we were we were trying to figure out, and we're still trying to figure out, good shows to do that are kind of unique. We had Vosh and Charlie Kirk, and I thought that was great. Uh, it was kind of crossfire-y, like the left versus the right, nah. And it's kind of a little too on the nose. So we're trying to figure out interesting personalities that may agree or disagree, but not be in the same spaces in the culture war. So maybe someone who's a comedian versus, you know, having a discussion with somebody who's in finance or getting someone like, you know, Max Kaiser, who's a Bitcoin guy to sit down and talk about someone who's all into philosophy. Originally, we had reached out to Shu on Head, who is a big YouTuber, and she was super excited that she wanted to do it. And after we confirmed with her, we, we went to Alex and we were like, hey, Alex, you know, Shu has agreed to do the show. Would you be willing to do it? And uh, Alex, we were trying to work on your schedule, figure out a date. And then once we finally confirmed Alex's availability, Shu on Head unfortunately said that she didn't think she'd be able to do it. She didn't know what she could add to the show. And it's a bummer because I think it would have been a really, really, really great show. And she was really just afraid to get canceled if she was even close to me. Which, again, whatever happened in America, we're not the Soviet Union. It's good to come on if you disagree with somebody and have a debate with them. That's what's interesting. That's what everybody's looking for. That's why Crossfire used to have 15 million viewers, and now it doesn't exist, and they have no viewers at CNN. is because it's all just orthodoxy, the same gaslighting, brainwashing. I don't care if it's right wing or left wing. No one wants that. Plus... You said before we went live, and I think it's true. I think she was scared as a populist. She'd probably agree with me, and that's when she'd get in trouble. Because so, you have the caricature of Alex they put out, which is little snippets out of context versus the real one. Yeah, so uh, basically we were, t- we were talking before the show, and you know, I'm, I'm just going to shout you out, Ian. Ian was like, we shouldn't bring it up. It's, we don't want to be disrespectful. And I, I, I can see with that because I, I think I think Shuen Head's great. I think her channel's Hey, hey I don't blame her. There's a lot yeah. of tyranny out there. And, and, and so, you know, keeping your head down might be what you want to do. But and, and when everybody does that, you lose your country and you wake up in North Korea. Like I was saying earlier, the, the Alex and Shu are, are a perfect fit together because Shu's entire persona and everything is built on memes on the Internet. And, and there's like Alex is one of the most prolific meme creators of, of the 21st century. So to, for her to back out just doesn't make any sense for her brand or for, you know, aside from the fact that she might get pushback from some of her more left leaning friends. So this is where I, I ended up. You know, I think she's incredibly talented and funny, which is why she has the million plus or, you know, know, all all the fans she has, the million plus views she gets on all her videos. And, you know, perhaps she's I I don't want to I don't want to call her a liar or anything when she says she doesn't think she'd have much to add and she feel like she wouldn't be participating enough. I mean, I I think it's a fair point, perhaps, but I think she underestimates herself. Mm. And then I also think a big component is we've had Steve Bannon on the show and Steve Bannon talked a lot about populism. And he calls himself far right. But then he says he wants to tax the rich. And I'm like, that's not far right, Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve. I don't think any of the labels. I mean, we need populism. We need Americanism. And that's classical liberalism. The left is not liberalism. People study it. It goes back to the Jacobins and the French Revolution. And George Washington said, that is not who we are. That's the enemy. They were going to have nine-day work weeks, abolish the family, make everybody slaves. It was getting rid of the church and the oligarchy and, and the royalty and creating a total system of control. So the left literally comes out of a super insane uh, cult, which was the real Illuminati, Adam Weishaupt. This is in mainline history books. And, and they set up the French Revolution and were going to set themselves up as God. So they would have all the science. Everybody else would be like animal slaves. And out of that came communism. Did it seem See, like I, the, don't know about, I don't know about any of that. Did it seem like the French Revolution got infiltrated? Well, let me... I just want oh, to, yeah. I, I oh, want yeah. To, I want to address They, they tried point. to kill Thomas Jefferson. Well, he, let me, was, let me, he was the leader of the Illuminati at that point. And, 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 and then he had, to, <laughs> he had to get out. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> what? It's so early in the conversation. Yes! No, did you know this was well, this is well known? <laughs> George Washington. This is what I'm here for. George Washington oh wrote no. 16 <laughs> letters. You can pull them up. George Washington wrote 16 letters against the Illuminati. Oh. He said they've taken over the French. They've taken over modern masonry, and I'm trying to stop them. Our revolution is is, is the one that's good and pure, and and theirs is destructive. And he told Jefferson, "You're going to once he wasn't president, they're going to try to kill you." And they later turned on Jefferson. Because, I mean, you know that Benjamin Franklin was not a Christian. He was in the Hellfire Club, had big sex orgies, the rest of it. And, uh, yes! Also, they why, found, why is this true? They found like... They I found pulled like, up from the Library of Congress. Oh, no. They George, found, they found no, like wait, 30 dead kids under his house. Oh, okay, hold on, Alex hold on, Jones hold on. is never wrong. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> right, okay. hold on. Let's figure this out. 
figure this out. Enough. I wanted to say something first <laughs> that you brought up a point about something I said about Shu that you'd say something populist that mm-hmm. she would agree with and that would be bad for a lot of these people who are scared of being canceled. To have a clip where, you know, Alex Jones says something about protecting the working class in this country and fighting for families and then having someone who's supposed to be on the left being like, you're completely right, Alex Jones, then having that clip go out is bad for somebody who's on the left, right? That's, that's the point I want to make. Now, then you got into the Illuminati and Thomas Jefferson. And I don't even know where we're at. But then I, he hold got on. awesome. It, but, but wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. So I Googled it. Uh, I'm at the Library of Congress. Oh, my gosh. And there is, a, it says, manuscript mixed material. And there's a picture here of a letter to Reverend G.W. Snyder, Mount Vernon, September 25th, 1798. What? George Washington. Down the street, street, George Washington. George Washington to William Russell. He said, I have heard much of the nefarious and dangerous plan and doctrines of the Illuminati, but never saw the book until you were pleased to send it to me. The same causes which have prevented my acknowledging the receipt of your letter have prevented my reading the book hitherto, namely the the multiplicity of matters which pressed upon me before and the the debilitated, debilitated state in which I was left after. A severe fever had been removed, and which allows me to add little more now than thanks to your kind wishes and favorable sentiments, except to correct an error you have run into of my presiding over the English lodges in this country. The fact is, I preside over none, nor have I been in one more than once or twice within the last 30 years. I believe, notwithstanding, that none of the lodges in this country are contaminated with the principles ascribed to the society of the Illuminati. So there, there, there's more. The point is, wow, Frederick, Maryland. Oh, hey, yeah. And Amazing. He, and he says the very, lodges. Very close. He's yeah. talking about Mason lodges, the Masons. All I know is, all I want to say is, George Washington did write letters to William Russell about the Illuminati. I don't know if that means Thomas Jefferson was <laughs> Read reading. all 16. No, I mean, Thomas Jefferson was the head of the Illuminati. That's well known. Before that, Franklin was, but they were the head of the good Illuminati. Then you had Adam Weishaupt and his Jacobins take over the Illuminati. The Illuminati just meant illumination and light, mm-hmm. and then and they wanted to control the light. Maybe this is why she didn't want to come My on My mind show. is blown. <laughs> like, this is amazing. Alex Jones is never wrong. It makes <laughs> no, a lot of sense. I mean, I have my perspectives, but I, I'm, I'm never wrong intentionally. But, I mean, this stuff's mainline history. It's just not really taught in schools. But I've read a bunch of books on it uh, that are, like, written hundreds, like, none, like um, proofs of this conspiracy. And it was that book that basically, out of that, they had the whole anti-Masonic uh, party and stuff, which I'm not anti-Masonic. I mean, that's way more comp. That goes back to Solomon and Egypt. And back mm-hmm. then, the colleges were secret. You didn't just let anybody in. They were called the mystery schools. So it had, like, the, the birthplace of astronomy and science and medicine. And all that goes back to Hippocrates and all that. So there was these mystery schools that only certain people could get into. And then it also has a backdrop of the occult. And then Christians and people saw it as all satanic, which it wasn't uh, because it all predates Christianity. Is that like the Hermetic I don't, I don't, Society? Well, well, yeah, all that stuff. I, I don't yeah. want to... This is a really, really deep subject, and maybe m- people might be disappointed because I didn't intend to go off in that direction. We were originally talking about the left and not wanting to come and sit How down. did we get there? Because yeah, the know. left is the French Revolution. I don't we know. Got, they were co-opted <laughs> as well. That's right. The left The left is not liberals. You invited out America Jones is liberal. and expected to not nothing. hear about the so Illuminati? Was, yeah, no, no, no. That's not what I mean. Oh, I was talking about how labels mean nothing. Because we take Tucker, Tucker Carlson wants to, wants to, wants to like <laughs> rebuild and take care of poor people and give them actually jobs. And, and, and care about our pop. That's more liberal than leftists that work for big corporations and hide behind BLM, but really don't care about the general public and help big tech build slave camps in China. Left is not so, inherently liberal. Right, right. So yeah. I, I, what I wanted to say was okay. we reached out to a bunch of people on the left and they were very respectful in declining to come on the show. I, I think it's because you mentioned cancel culture. That's kind of what they say to me. They're like, there's, there, there's no upside for, for this. If I do this, it's just bad for me, right? They could sit down and have a conversation with you. They could sit down and have a conversation with Steve Bannon. In fact, what I wanted to say was when we had Bannon on the show, people commented, wow, I, I, the media makes it sound like he's crazy, but he's actually like a normal guy. Very well spoken. You, yeah, but you, you, you know the, the, the study that uh, they study the people that consider themselves liberal in the U.S., compared to conservatives and, and conservatives understand the liberals and just disagree. Liberals don't understand conservatives oh, yeah. and people that aren't liberal. So, right. and, and by liberal, I and mean they don't the want American. to understand them. Yeah. They, but they, they believe a character of them. They believe, they believe that like the, every ugly character that you come up with about conservatives, that's what the liberals believe about conservatives. Can and I, it's not the case. You can know? I just shout out one of the most frustrating things was seeing people play the clip of the gay frogs thing. Ah. Without, without, and they were laughing yeah. at you like you were insane when it was clear you were exaggerating a real study about atrazine. Exactly. Yeah, I just, I mean, story. that's like 10 years ago now. Right. I just read, 
it, 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 I, I, to go back to memory, I, I, I just read an article about it. I think it was like a, uh, what's that show? It's not PBS, Democracy Now. Yeah. Democracy Now had just had the doctor on, it's like 10 years ago, about atrazine, the study, and how it made the males attractive to the males so they didn't have any eggs, so they were dying out. Right. And it was happening all over the world with, with atrazine that's toxic, and it was hurting humans as well, studies were showing, and very carcinogenic. So I said, see, I just don't want them putting wa uh, things in the water that make the friggin' frogs gay. And I said, I'm not against gay people, I just don't want them putting stuff in the water that makes the frogs gay as a kind of a joke at the end, and then they just went crazy with that. Well, They're so, turning so, the frogs gay! Well, so, so here's what happens. I see a bunch of posts online where they're like, I can't believe he's crazy. The crazy thing is, on Reddit, you'll see people actually trying to crack people like, I get it, Alex Jones is crazy, but he's he's not wrong. He's exaggerating, but look at the study. And then the people are like, ah, get out of here, you nut, you conspiracy theorist. I will say, though, You're talking I, b I believe uh, uh, updated studies they followed through found it's substantially less pronounced or not happening. I don't know the full details. I remember looking into it. Well, let me give you you're, an example. You're, you're talking about a species that goes through metamorphosis as part of its life cycle. So influence from from the environment and from things that aren't supposed to be there, it's, it's completely reasonable to think that chemicals would have an influence on a creature that has so much uh, that, that changes so much throughout its life and uh, you know it, it's not that that's far right when you actually s stop and think about it for a well, second well also i'm pretty sure aren't there some species of frog that can change gender yes i, I believe so, so. Yeah. so that that's birds just, do it too but 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 what he just said is absolutely right because when they're trying in science to figure out how to regenerate cells they look at lizards their tail gets bit off by a bird it grows back they look at frogs but we have a, a little lake on my dad's ranch in east texas and he went like a couple of years ago to the, to the state, and you get carp uh, that have had a chemical put in when they were eggs, and just a few drops of it at the state level makes these big, giant, you know, carp, but they're sterile uh, just from a few drops of a chemical when they are uh, eggs. And so that's, that's exactly what he's talking about. And so this, this is wild. Just, I want you, you know, just, just pause and reflect on the moment. Um. You know, we were we were just going to talk about how we originally planned on doing the show with someone on the left, and then within like thirty <laughs> seconds, it was Thomas Jefferson was the leader of the Illuminati. Yeah, I got to find out if Robespierre was a plant. Are amazing. <laughs> did the they get to Robespierre? The or was he are, actually uh, crazy? Sterile. Do you know much about? We're, did the, we're, did the Illuminati put Robespierre in the French Revolution, or was I, he there I, and they co-opted him? Like what? Because he went haywire. They knew they knew a revolution was coming, and so Adam Weishaupt with another group of people basically infiltrated the Masonic lodges and, and, and got control of some of the European ones, tried to control the U.S. ones, and then Washington came and, and spoke out against them and exposed them. But, but it was basically, before they had intelligence agencies, they had secret societies. And all that was was then the secret societies got taken over by the Illuminati, who said the royalty's weak, the church is weak, let's overthrow them, and then we'll infiltrate and basically get all the nobles to join us and a bunch of the rich people because we'll have sex parties and supply them with prostitutes. And, 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 and money as well, because there's a bunch of rich people backing it. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. If you want to see the full show, come back to this channel, youtube.com slash TimCast IRL, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m., where you can leave comments and super chat, and we actually will read your comments on the show. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and if you want exclusive members-only content segments you can't get anywhere else, Go to TimCast.com, become a member, and we even have full bonus episodes. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.